Well, welcome to the show. I am Sonia Sash. You're going to love this week's edition. We are speaking to one of my very good friends, Daniel Blake. He is the VP of Valley Brands at Manhauser Bush. Lots to talk about. Thank you, sir, for joining. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And before we get started, where are you calling in from? Calling in from New York City. Yes. COVID nineteen. We're going to have to. We have to talk about. You're in New York. How is this impacting you personally? It's, I think for everyone, it's just a strange, it's a strange time in the world. And uh, it's one of those cliche uh, answers. So I'm sorry to give it, but it's, it's so true during this time period where we're really all in this together. You know, everyone needs to do their, their part, whether they're kind of on the front lines and in, in hospitals or pharmacies or uh, you know, delivering packages uh, to the people that, you know, can work from home. You know, it's important that everyone does their, their part, whatever that is. Uh, it's really important. And, you know, being in New York City, obviously, even more relevant for us. Uh, and so, you know, it's it's been interesting. But, you know, the support that we get from our neighbors, from loved ones is really uh, quite inspiring and, and, and really o- overwhelming at times. So, you know, Hopefully, we can all get through this together, and when we come out on the other end, we're stronger for it. Right. How how terrifying is it being there? I mean, you see the news, and the death toll in New York just goes up exponentially uh, every day. And the, the sites are ominous because a once bustling New York City is literally a dead zone. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, is it is it in reality that way? What is the what is the vibe like right now? Yeah, it's it's been unlike any any experience uh, that that we've had, and and really that the city has had. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things where, again, if everyone just does their part, we're all in this together, and uh, you know, I think we can get out on the other end stronger. The company, the brand, very filled with. Heritage, legacy, um, yeah. the mid 1800s. First American brewer to use pasteurization, first to use mechanical refrigeration, and also the first to bottle beer extensively. You guys have been through prohibition and many hostile takeovers, and now COVID 19. This is something that the brand is facing. What I absolutely love, one of the big things that we're here to talk to you about is that Bush Beer is teaming up with Midwest Animal Rescue, and that's to help get dogs either fostered or adopted. So yeah. someone in the company said this, and I love so I just wanted to share it. Social distancing is better with a furry friend by your side and a cold beer in your hand. <laughs> yeah, couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. I mean... We were seeing a lot of articles, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago about how many shelters were concerned about what they were going to do with the animals. You know, they were having to close down and they needed to find homes for the animals in, in their shelters. Uh, and we thought it was such a great opportunity for us to get the word out there and also a little bit of encouragement with the three months of, of beer to encourage people to sign up to foster or adopt a dog. And it's really two birds with one stone. Obviously, it's a big point, uh, pain point for the shelters. You know, they need the support. But as you know, a lot of people are stuck at home. A lot of them are isolated right now. And so having a furry friend at home with you is a great way to get through this period in time. So we were really excited to partner with Midwest Animal Rescue to bring this to life. You touched on this a little bit. Why is this such a great brand fit? I, th- I think it's just so relevant during this time period. Obviously, a great need. These shelters need the support. But as we talked about, you know, people are more isolated uh, today than ever before. It's just so relevant. And, you know, there's a lot of roles that brands can play during this time. But for a beer brand, uh, you know, the role we play, you know, most days is to bring people together. Obviously, we want people to stay apart. We want people to stay home. But the role we can play is to bring people together with at least uh, a furry friend. So we felt it was important to kind of push that message during this time period. That's right. So now tell us about the, the actual campaign in general and how it works. Yeah. 
it, it, it's it's really pretty simple uh, surface level. So you know we have uh, posts on our social accounts and on our website encouraging people to go to uh, Midwest Animal Rescue to apply to foster or adopt a, an animal. They go through the normal process. Uh, Midwest Animal Rescue reviews all the applications. Like I said, they've been getting a lot of them, so it's taking them a little bit of time to go through it. And if the application is accepted, uh, the person just needs to email or DM Bush the confirmation, and we will uh, you know, send over three months of beer so that they can enjoy the beer while they're enjoying the time with their, their new uh, dog. Why this demographic? Obviously, you can help first responders, and I think you said that you've been doing that, but what data were you looking at that made you say, I need to help, we need to help this demographic? Yeah. Bush has a, a long history of helping uh, organizations with, um, you know, out, outdoors initiatives. We've partnered with the National Forest Foundation and Ducks Unlimited for a number of years to help uh, wildlife uh, and habitat initiatives. Uh, and so partnering with uh, Midwest Animal Rescue to help uh, find homes for these animals goes hand in hand. A lot of our drinkers are uh, outdoorsmen, women. They spend a lot of time in the outdoors. And a lot of them are dog owners. And so we knew it was something that resonated with them. And it was, we felt like it was our job to kind of get the word out and a little bit of encouragement with the beer to uh, take action. That's great. And as you said, every day is a better day with the brewery founder, especially now. When we're no question. Even anxious, they do help a lot, right? There's no question. Yeah, I have my uh, almost eight year old Cavalier King Charles, and she definitely helps get us through the day. So it's a, it's a big help. It's nice to have. And hopefully uh, some people are fostering or adopting dogs during this time period. My, my evaluator, I call him the dude, Kevin. He's just off camera, lying down, <laughs> sleeping. What impact are you looking to have um, on either the animal shelters or even just animals in general? What is your goal? Yeah, so we've been in, in close contact with the the people running uh, Midwest Animal Rescue, um, and the response that they've gotten has really been overwhelming. They said they've received ten times more applications to foster or adopt a dog than they receive on average. Uh, I think almost to the point where they're having to go through all the applications just to to try to catch up. So uh, you know, we're pretty overwhelmed with the response that people have uh, have shown. I know Midwest Animal Rescue is as well. So hopefully we can get as many animals uh, into the homes of people around the country uh, to help them get through this time. And hopefully it leads to a lifelong bond, as you know, you know, uh, once once you make that introduction, uh, you know, I think it's very, really uh, pretty special. That's great. Is it just the one shelter or is this uh, us in the U.S. for three months? Yeah, so it's available to everyone in the U.S. So they're they're based in the Midwest, but anyone in the country can apply, which is really good. Uh, you know, they will uh, deliver the animal to anyone uh, whose application is accepted. So available to everyone, uh, and the response we've seen has, has been really good. So a lot of people are applying. So actually, let's talk a little bit about the other initiative that you're doing because again, frontline uh, workers need support. Need things. Need yeah. What other initiatives are you doing? So another one we're really excited about is uh, we're calling it Bush Trivia Night. So uh, obviously, uh, before this time and after this time, a lot of people spend uh, spend their nights in bars, uh, hanging out with friends and family, and uh, oftentimes with trivia. So we can't do that right now. So we're bringing trivia to Facebook Live. We have our spokesman, the Bush guy, uh, conducting the trivia. We've done three of these nights. We're bringing back Trivia Night for this Thursday. So tune in on Facebook Live, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but what's really special about the Trivia Night is we're also encouraging people to, what we're called, give tips uh, to the United States Bartenders Guild. So obviously bartenders and servers aren't able to work during this time right now. Um, and so we want to support them. So we made a, a donation to the organization. And then we're also matching every dollar donated during our Trivia Nights uh, to help support these people who aren't able to work uh, during this time. Literally putting money into the server's pockets. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We feel it's really important. Obviously, these are you know huge ambassadors for for Bush, uh, 
And you know, the fact that they're not able to work right now is extremely nerve wracking. There's a lot of uncertainty around it. And so anything we can do to provide just a little bit more certainty, uh, we felt like is important. And then for the people that tune in, uh, you know, encourages them to stay home and helps pass the time a little bit uh, every Thursday night. So you literally shifted your focus to um, either your online business, but how can we give back to your community? Exactly, exactly. So there's a lot of focus actually on encouraging people to get beer delivered. There's a, uh, a number of beer delivery uh, sites uh, around the country. So we're encouraging people to get beer delivered instead of going out to the store and then uh, helping these servers with the United States Bartenders Guild where we can every Thursday night. So this is a scary time. You mentioned this before. A lot of us are either feeling cabin fever or they're just very anxious right now and they don't have yeah. support. Some people are living at home alone. Uh, what would you say to our members who you know, want to be part of the community? Hopefully, you know, we're bringing them a community somewhere that they can you know, come to and, and have a smile. Um, but what would you say? Yeah, I would say, like I said, it, it is it is cliche, but I really do believe it that we are in this together. Everyone needs to do their part, whatever that is. And uh, you know, if we continue to do that, I think the sooner we'll get out on the other side of it. Um, and you know, for Bush, I think our role is to help those where we can, uh, you know, whether it's bartenders, whether it's uh, the animal shelters, um, and then also provide a little bit of of joy in people's lives during this time. Uh, because we certainly need that. So that's that's the role that we're trying to play right now. Okay, so let's fast forward several months from now. COVID-19 mm -hmm. passed. <laughs> what activities can we look forward to once this is over? So we have a number of actually really exciting programs that we're developing right now um, that we're launching uh, later this summer. Uh, a couple of them I can't, can't share with you quite yet, but hopefully in the next few months I can. Maybe we can uh, we can do another one of these uh, talks, and I can share one really exciting new product that will uh, that will launch in August that I think you'll you'll really enjoy. Oh, a yeah. little bit of a little bit of a teaser for you. I want to know. <laughs> I, I I can't yet, but I promise I promise you will be very very interested to see it. I think a lot of your viewers will be very excited about it. And, and like I said, we're looking to launch in August. So I love, I love the beers that you guys have. So tell me a little bit for you. Tell me a little bit about the different types of beer. Obviously there's Bush, there's Bush Light, but uh, how are they made? How are they different? What do you offer? And is it literally a brand for any taste in anybody? Yep, yep. So. We have Bush, Bush Light, Bush Ice, which is a little bit of a higher alcohol content. And then we have Bush NA, which is a non-alcoholic offering. Um, it's one of the most popular non-alcoholic non beers in, in the country. Um, and then Anheuser Bush as a portfolio, we have a number of beers. So exactly to your point, any taste profile, uh, any occasion, we have something to offer, which is uh, something that we're really excited to do. Uh, and, and Bush, uh, in particular, is one of the most popular beer brands in the country. Uh, we have a great uh, fan base, uh, especially in you know the Midwest. And so we like to develop these programs that resonate with them and support organizations that they're also supporting. We think it goes hand in hand. And it's a really nice match. Amazing. And you can cook with your beer. <laughs> you can. You can. We have a number of recipes and we have a number of programs that we're developing. Uh, talking about how you can use the beer for uh, different recipes. So, yes, absolutely. That's what I want to do. I'm going to come to New York, and we're going to do a cooking demo with your beers. Love it. Can't wait. We're going to more information on all of the great things about what you're doing, but also about the delicious beers. Yeah, people can go to bush.com. Uh, there's an... A lot of information about the different programs we're doing, uh, more information and in history about uh, our products. So push.com is, is where people want to go. Okay, so if you want to adopt a furry friend while getting three months worth of beer and so much more, just a day enjoying a delicious beer, check out 
and comes there bush. They have so much to offer. Thank you so much, Daniel, for being here with me. Thank you. So much fun. And really appreciate it. i back, whether it's like this or in New York, and we're going to catch up. I want to, and now I want that exclusive. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you. You too. Thanks for the time. Take care. This buds for the blues. The reds. And the warriors. This buds for the magic. The athletics. The giants. And the jazz. This buds for the trailblazers, the Braves, the Yankees, and the Angels. This buds for the home team.